Hello ladies and gents, Rook here and welcome to Normal Films. And today I'm bringing you guys another application review. This application is on Levo iTransfer for Mac. Now this is application you would use for, uh, just like it says in the name, uh, transferring, uh, removing, and uh, backing up as well. And then also just uh, simply managing the files or making your, uh, your own backups of your iOS devices on your computer or storing on or using your iOS device even as a USB but for example I got my iPhone here connected I'm gonna go ahead and click on it up here it'll give me my library my playlist I'm just gonna go to the music tab here and I'll be able to find all of the music pretty much that's on my actual iOS device now all I gotta do is simply uh, to transfer these I can select simply just choose one I can go ahead and preview it here by hitting that little play button or well, also I can go to the transfer button I'm gonna just go ahead and select this transfer button um, but before I do that, I want to mention real quick, this is one of 930. Um, it shows you here at the bottom some of the details. That was five minutes. If I've, uh, yeah, it's roughly five minutes long, and the size of it is 11.44 megabytes. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to hit that transfer button. From here, you can transfer to list, save to folder, or uh, both at the same time. And uh, go to change to change the location, but I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Go ahead and hit transfer now. It should go through pretty smoothly. And then uh, I'm going to slide this to the side, actually minimize it, and I'll be able to find it that it's actually transferred right here on my desktop. You can put it into a folder and it'll be able to save it. For example, if you're just trying to make an additional backup, you can even back it up onto a USB. But yeah, you can also use this as a USB storage, which is I thought was pretty cool. But other than that, you can find all your uh, <laughs> contacts, SMS, application, books. I'm going to minimize this and also you can interact with your iTunes library from here as well. And uh, it gives you some of your basic iTunes library set statistics as well regarding your iPhone here. This application is honestly really easy to use you guys and uh, I'll have a link in the description for you guys to check it out. You can uh, go ahead and get the free trial now and try out the application yourself. Uh, I'll also be doing a giveaway though of this application. All you have to do is just to leave a comment below or uh, just leave a comment saying uh, what you think a, a next application I should do a review on. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next video and later. So let my life be the proof, the proof of